then why don't we pursue other deals while the deal that's not done is so we keep ending up in this situation with a gun to our head. And it could end up with an $885 tax increase on each average property. So an average property is assessed about um, 164 there was never a redeveloper's agreement, never a lander purchasing agreement. I don't know what the city's explanation for that is, um, but the reality is is that we have to find $15 million. But for the family that's on the fixed income that's retired, um, there's, a, there's a true concern. Two in four families that are assessed twice that. So on a, uh, a two-family home, that, that 885 may be 1200 $50. In addition to the tax increase that was made previously. So th this is a huge problem here. Peter Franco says this thing was rolled out in September and the mayor said it was a great idea. I want to know what that $15 million translates to if it doesn't come through. We deserve an answer. Even though they lost out on that development, Councilman at Large Perez says it wasn't their fault. And there's nothing we can do about it except go and move forward and try to resolve this matter in the best way we can. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do it. When it comes to the money, the administration is going to be looking under every stone. To find developers to come in in order to replace that $15 million. We're certainly going to be looking at potentially some budget cuts. Everybody's going to be pulling together to get that gap closed. In Bayonne, Jillian Risberg, Hudson TV.